So I want to talk for a little bit about conservation and what it means to us at Pucker. Uh, obviously, unfortunately, sadly, a lot of the wild habitats in the world are getting damaged. You know, this is largely due to the pressure from human needs for wood or food or commerce. And one of the other things that particularly uh, impacts our life at Pucker is the fact that a lot of the herbs in the world come from the wild. In fact, about 80% of herbs that are harvested come from the wild. And various plant specialists have said that over 10,000 medicinal plant species are threatened. So there's thought to be about 50,000 medicinal herb species used around the world. And so that's 20% of all the herbal species used in the world are threatened. And we want to do something about this at Pucker. We want to bring you the information and the understanding so that you can make a choice about what you're using. One of the areas that is deeply in need of conservation is the Himalayas. And the Himalayas are famous for being a source of many medicinal species. And because it's a tough terrain, it's high in the snow-capped mountains, and the plants have a short growing season, and many of the plants that are used from there are roots, then as they've become popular through, the, through their efficacy, they've become depleted. And there's one species in particular we've worked with is called Kutki, which is called Picoriza Koroa. And we teamed up with local partners to research how the plant is grown. It took a couple of years. And then we had to find a location and we found somewhere at over 3,000 meters to grow the plants. It took three years to grow the Kutki roots. And then because the trade of Kutki is controlled under international law, it took us uh, two years to get a permit to export it. But it was such a rewarding project to be involved in, to work with the local people, to understand the nature of the plant, and to really find our way through the quagmire of international law to show that with determination conservation is possible. One of the really interesting projects we've been privileged to work with is in the cultivation of a species called Gugu, which is Comifora whitey, also known as Indian myrrh. And this is the myrrh species that we all know the Three Kings brought to Jesus. It's a traditional Ayurvedic species used for a whole host of health issues, notably reducing weight, helping with arthritis, strengthening the constitution. And one of the reasons it's become endangered is because it's so effective. And it also is a hard plant to harvest. You don't get very much out of a harvest and so the demand is really outstripping supply. And so the partners that we work with in Rajasthan have had the foresight to get saplings and, and plant them out in uh, natural habitat and then tend for these saplings. And so over the last eight years they've grown into really quite large shrubs and are now ready to harvest. And we, we get this Google gum and you know, we know where it comes from, we know it's a sustainable supply. And so it's a really good example of the type of conservation you can do if you're aware about the species and how it's grown and how to sustainably harvest it. And so because of the need for conservation of wild harvested medicinal plant species, there's been a great certification program set up called Fair Wild. And this uses the principles of fair trade with the principles of sustainable wild harvesting. And we've been lucky enough to start to source some fair wild licorice uh, from Kazakhstan uh, to ensure that the wild harvested licorice we're using is sustainably harvested. We've also teamed up with the fair wild project in Albania to harvest nettles, elderflowers, lime flower. And we're starting a, a project in India to collect fair wild bibitaki and harataki, the two famous species used in Trifila. So conservation really is at the heart of what we do at Pucker, and it brings me great pleasure to know the people that we're working with who are, are gathering the herbs, the farmers and collectors that grow and gather the herbs, to know that we're benefiting the environment where the herbs come from, and to know that these herbs are coming to you in the best possible quality to benefit your health. And that's what conservation means for us. It's about the health of the whole, and that our individual health cannot be separated from the health of our environment. And that's what it means to us at Pucker Herbs to bring you the best quality that we can.